But first, chilling testimony from Twisted Sisters lying to police. No one swear to God. And unraveling behind the scenes. What the f is wonderful? They have a coffee and donuts. They have a good time your time. They don't care. Tonight, identical killers now with identical sentences for killing their own mother. Twin sisters, Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead. They were just 16 years old, 16 at the time of the brutal attack. Now, last night, we showed you never before seen video that shows the girls' initial lies to police. Tonight, Katie Beck has the video that shows the two sides of the two teens. Well, Brenda, the twins weeping and sobbing and asking for mom. Now, you saw the interrogation room video last night. It was all an act, and it was an act police ultimately don't believe. Watch tonight as the tough questions start to rattle the twins and just how rattled they get when they're finally arrested. All right. Uh, Tad, I want you to come out here and sit with them for a minute. I want to talk to your sister. Police start to set their sights on Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead as suspects in their mother's murder. It started to become clear that at the very least they were being deceptive. Like when the twins told police how they'd been horrified to find their home covered in blood. Jazz like screaming or say something I looked that way and all I saw was like blood all over the floor. They killed their mother and tried to hide it. There was evidence that they, they tried to clean up and just realized it was just too much. Investigators smelled bleach in the carpet, saw bloody clothes in the wash, and found clothes the twins had thrown away. Is that the clothes you wore at school today? Yes. But not the clothes she wore during the murder. Any information you think I might want to know that you haven't told me? The twins start to show their nerves, perhaps their guilt, especially Jasmia, seen here rocking back and forth. You think we did it? Why is that? Because it, 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 it seemed like it. Who? Who said that? Well, it just seemed like how y'all were questioning us. It just seemed like y'all think we did it. Denial after denial. God. The separated twins try to stick to their story, but being apart is wearing them down. The firmer police get, the more lies the girls tell. Those fresh cuts and bites on both of their hands and arms. They first tell police they got in a fight with each other, then exchange that lie for another. The twins were claiming that the bite marks they, they had on them were self-inflicted, that it's a nervous reaction that they would have. Jazz tries to act out that lie for the cameras as she bites her own hands. Meanwhile, her sister Taz, also aware of the camera, performs another act. <laughs> And prays aloud, hoping to catch her mother's killer. The girls went home with their great grandmother that night. They went to school, had a social life, perhaps started to believe that they'd gotten away with it. But police were watching them all the while and building a case. Nearly four months later, their time was up. Once we got them both arrested, we got the car mic'd up uh, to listen to them in case they said something together incriminating. This is an audio recording of the girls talking on the day of their arrest. So what do them a bite more? The twins' tone has changed. The two sweet victimized twins were long gone. Just the anger coming out in the voice again, um, talking about how terrible our evidence was, how, you know, if you want to charge me, find a murder weapon. What the wonderful? They have a coffee and donuts. They have a good time your time. She don't care. Once in police custody and in jumpsuits. Record. Faced with a murder trial, the twins' tone would change again as they finally break down and give their tape confession. 
Now, as you might guess, tomorrow night we're going to show you how this story ends, the girls' confessions. And in these recordings, you will hear about the brutal fight they had with their mother and how they disposed of the murder weapon that was never found. I am also live chatting right now about this story along with the investigator on this case to give you more behind-the-scenes information. We're going to be online until about 11.30. If you want to join the discussion, just log on to 11alive.com. It's right on the homepage. Uh, absolutely fascinating. All right, we look forward to part three tomorrow. Thanks, Katie, thank you.